My name is Trevor Ellis. I'm a grade six French immersion teacher at Jackman Avenue. I came across a story about Luke Anderson in Spacing Magazine, and we were doing a unit looking at heroes. So we saw Luke Anderson, discovered the Stopgap Foundation, and Luke invited our class to participate in the Stopgap School Project. So the first step in the project is learning about accessibility and defining it and identifying it as an issue. Then we met Luke Anderson, he came in and told us his story and the challenges that he faces now that he uses a wheelchair. The next step of the project was the accessibility audit in our community and that was really cool for the students to get out in the community, see the issue, they really engaged with it, they really latched on to this issue as something that they could tackle. I think community is the relationship that you have with people. So one example is we got to know Colin Godfrey and he, he shared his personal story about disability, about accessibility, and that was quite touching. So it's about developing relationships and, and getting to know and to hear people's stories. And I would also say community is about change. Community is about becoming aware of what works in your surroundings and what doesn't and working to make it better. And I think that when students especially, when they can make a difference, they feel an attachment to that place. I think teachers can be hesitant about going away from their comfort zone, can be hesitant about leaving the textbook behind, but real inquiry-based learning and community-based learning and perhaps citizenship-based learning, if you want to call it that, is really engaging for the students. One great thing about the Stopgap School Project is that there's a very easy to follow template which allows for a lot of flexibility but really guides teachers. And before you know it, it snowballs into a bunch of really good, meaningful learning activities. I'm a bit of a, a, tear, a tear guy. I'm a bit, I can be a bit of a crybaby. So when we delivered the ramps, it was pretty emotional for me. I tried not to, to cry in front of my students, but I couldn't, I couldn't help it entirely. It was the culmination of, of a lot of work over the year. It was the culmination of a lot of work over the course of the project. And it was uh, making a difference in the community, which was a really valuable feeling. I think there's lots of reasons to become a teacher, but to make a difference, a positive difference, is the main one for most teachers. 